Hello Python programmers. So this is the video second of our machine learning with Python video series. And in this video, we are gonna talk about the types of data which are used in machine learning. Now, according to me, this is a very important topic. And usually the mentors take this topic very lightly and just explain in like one or two minutes. But according to me, it's very important. This is why I have created a separate video for this. And let me tell you why it is so important. Now, the type of data determines the machine learning algorithm that you use to perform any specific task. Let's say that you are provided a data set of a specific data type. Now by looking at the data type, you will decide that what algorithm you have to use to do the prediction or to get your desired output. Okay, so now after understanding this concept, let's get started with the video. So first of all, let's understand how many types of uh, data are there. There are three types of data, numerical, categorical and ordinal. Let's start with numerical data. Anything which can be measured is called a numerical data type. This is the most simplest explanation I can think of. Numerical data types are then sub categorized into two types, discrete and continuous. Discrete can be described as a specific a specific value like you say uh, I have four oranges I have five apples so that value is fixed that value cannot be 5.45 something right it is a fixed integer value it cannot be fraction such types of data are called discrete numerical data type and the continuous are fractional or decimal values which can have a large range of values like the uh, the water in the glass it can be like 5.325 liters or 5.3 liters it has a wide range of uh, possibilities so this is what uh, continuous numerical data type is okay so now let's move on to our second data type which is categorical data now let me try to explain you this with a example let's say that we are provided the data type with the continents of our earth right and there are seven continents of the earth where asia is the largest and i guess australia is, is the smallest right okay so australia is, is the smallest and asia is the largest but this doesn't mean that Asia is greater than Australia, right? In numeric value, we have fixed that 5 is greater than 4. But here, Australia is not greater than... Asia is not greater than Australia. It is just a categorization. Asia is just larger in the terms of size not in all the respects although when we when we apply the uh, algorithm we assign numeric values to them but they have no relation with any of the property of that category like let's say that we assign one to asia two to europe three to uh, let's say australia then antarctica but that doesn't mean that this is the order one is not greater than second this is just used for assigning to that uh, category so this was categorical data the name is itself self-explanatory we are dividing our data into categories so let's move on to our third data type ordinal data type which is somewhat the mixture of categorical and numerical data now the best real life example is the star rating on your electrical appliances here the electrical appliances are categorized on the basis of star rating like 1, 2, 3 and 4 but 
but these star rating have some numerical relation like 4 is greater than 1 okay uh, 4 is more electricity efficient than 1 okay okay so let me just sum up all the points here there are three types of data which are used in machine learning numerical categorical and ordinal numerical is basically anything which can be measured it is of two type discrete which is having a specific integer value like one two three four and continuous is a fractional or decimal value having infinite possibility categorical data are basically the categories of uh, of data with having no relation whatsoever then we have our ordinal data which is the mixture of numerical and categorical data they are categorized into categories but these categories have some numerical relationship between them so this was it for this video i tried to explain this uh, concept as deep and as fast as possible i hope you understand this and if you don't then leave a comment below and and i'll try to explain you them okay so meet you in the next video bye, -bye.